Hello, welcome to the migration of Bromo Benji reaction lab. And before the lab, we need to cover all personal protective equipment, lab coat, gloves, uh, safety goggles, and face mask because of this COVID-19. So for that reaction, we have here our glass bin, which is contain all the important glasswares. And here we have reagents. Bromobenzene, concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid and here is our hot plate and ice so let's start our reaction and then before that we need to understand the reaction mechanism and the action conditions so this reaction that we're doing is under the classification of electroph electrophilic aromatic substitution or EAS um, we're using bromobenzene as our substrate with nitric acid and uh, sulfuric acid, both concentrated as our uh, reagents. And then we'll use ethanol in the workup to isolate our products. Um, the two products that we're going to get is ortho nitrobenzene and para nitrobenzene. Um, this is the reaction kind of overview, overview. So as you can see, you'll get the ortho product and the para product. Um, so the way this works is Nitric acid and sulfuric acid react to form this cation right here. Um, water will then leave, as it's a good leaving group, form the nitronium ion. And then, so this is where you can get two products. So the bromine, what it will do, since it's an electron donating group, it will donate a uh, electrons in, form this uh, anion, which will then attack the nitronium cation, and then form this intermediate followed with um, a base. Now this base can either be this uh, conjugate base or just water. Um, it'll take this proton that's on this carbon and then it'll form this product. This is the ortho product. Um, for the para product, it's the same thing. Same like general reaction. It's just the anion that gets formed is a little bit different. Um, instead of the electrons coming here, you'll skip a step and come and form the electrons at the para position. This doesn't occur at the meta position because bromine is just an ortho para direct group, not meta. And then finally to work up, we'll do uh, recrystallization using ethanol and then uh, simple distillation. So let's just start reaction. So first we're going to measure out four milliliters of the concentrated sulfuric acid. almost there just half a mil that's it so we're going to go ahead and add this into the round bottom glass next we're going to weigh out or measure out four mil of the concentrated nitric acid. We're going to use a different pipe test so that we don't uh, contaminate this whole bottle. So this is nitric acid.
start feeling. So this reaction generates heat. Um, so it's important that we don't get this reaction too hot, or else it will uh, it'll nitrate multiple times, and that's not what we're going for. So that's why we have the ice there to make sure that uh, the reaction doesn't get too hot. So that is why we have a ice bath here to make it cold. Finally, what we're going to do in a clean 10 milliliter uh, graduated cylinder, we're going to measure out 4.5 milliliters of deep bromo benzene. 4.5 ml nitro benzene, bromo benzene. stirring so we'll go ahead and throw the stir bar in so go ahead and add half a mil So we have to add bromo benzene drop wise half ml yes. every 5 minutes or over the 15 minutes yes. and we also need to put a collision adapter I see the reaction is starting. So this piece of glassware is called the Claisen adapter. It's uh, useful for monitor monitoring uh, the temperature of a reaction while still being able to have like open access to the reaction to continue to add stuff throughout the course of a reaction. So that's what we're going to be using it for here. So we'll add half a mil through here and we'll make sure that it doesn't get too hot by checking on this here. So in this way we can uh, monitor the temperature and we can add half ml of bromo benzene drop wise from this Claisen adapter and we will do this reaction slowly so that we should not increase the temperature too much. Right now temperature is uh, somewhere between uh, let's see how much it's around 25 degrees celsius this is a 100 degrees celsius temperature thermometer and here you can see this is 25 so we'll wait five minutes and after that we will add another addition so this is the after five minutes we are going to add second time and uh, so you on this side so here you can see we are adding drop wise Bromo benzene through this Claisen adapter and monitoring the temperature remain the same. And uh, let's see the temperature is right now is nearly a little bit increases five. It's around twenty eight so temperature has increased slightly it's 
keep it inside in the same way we have to add the all of these bromo benzene after every 5 minute and here you can see our reaction is running its color has changed to yellow so here you can see this uh, after third addition temperature of the reaction has increased around 40 degrees celsius so we need to cool it down the temperature so that is why we have here ice bath so what we are going to do basically so it's, uh, it would be better if we do not remove the round bottom flask here because uh, it has all sulfuric acid and nitric acid concentrated so to avoid that one we will slowly move this round bottom flask back and forth on heat plate as well as in the ice bath so temperature is going it was keep increasing actually 50 but now it's slowing down once we will come back around 30 we will move it back and then again we will add bromo benzene so now you can see the temperature has cooled down little bit from 40 below it's around 30 so this is good time we can add one more addition while it is in the ice bath it is a it will maintain the temperature cold once we will <coughs> maintain the temperature below 40 and add few drop few addition here then we can move it to stir plate so this reaction need very careful addition and monitoring of the temperature which is very important so now we are going to add our last half ml of bromo benzene and i already move we have already moved this on the hot plate stir plate we can see this nice yellow precipitate is coming which indicate that reaction is working and product is forming and let's check uh, temperature right now it's still below 40 and if i will move a little bit tem so here you can see temperature is 25 degrees celsius right now so this reaction need some temperature at least room temperature not all the time ice bath and after that we are going to heat a little bit so now we have completed the addition and now we are going to increase the heat of this uh, reaction so he we will set up somewhere around 60 or 55 between so that we can give some little bit heat on this reaction from the heat plate and we'll heat this tem reaction for 10 to 15 minute around 55 or 50 degree celsius below 60 degree celsius So it's been stirring. Uh, we've kept it below 60 degrees. It's been stirring for about 15 minutes. So uh, we've completed the reaction part of this experiment. Um, now we just have to begin the workup.